Daruma-san, also known as the bath game, is a Japanese ritual for summoning ghostly entities played by daring teenagers and even some adults. To play Daruma-san, there are a specific set of orderly rules that one must abide by. The ritual should start at midnight, just before retiring to bed. You need a plain old bathroom with a bathtub. Firstly, remove all of your clothes and put it outside the bathroom. Start by filling the bathtub to the brim. Sit with half of your body submerged in the water and naked, facing the faucet and close your eyes. Wash your hair repeatedly while repeating the words, Daruma-san fell down, Daruma-san fell down. If you do it properly and do these steps with all your heart, you should be able to visualize a woman standing right in the middle of the bathtub. She then will slip and fall, hitting her head on the faucet, gouging her eye out. Her blood will completely fill the bathtub. You then will feel a presence in the water. You will be enticed to have a peek, but you must keep your eyes closed and not look at the entity. Ask aloud, why did you fall in the bathtub? Keeping your eyes closed, carefully stand up from the bathtub and leave the room. Take care to not drain the water and close the door behind you. Then the real fun begins. Slowly open your eyes once you exited the room. The spirit of the Daruma Sane, a woman, will come after you for the whole day. She is a ghostly figure that wears torn white clothes with black hair. Her left eye is wide open while the other is gouged out by the fall. The game is to not get caught by the dead woman and survive the whole day if you can. The woman will try to come closer and closer to you as the day progresses. When she gets too close, yell with all your heart, Tamara, or stop, and run away as fast as you can. This will help to put some distance between you and the gory woman. But every time you yell at the ghost, the time she stops will shorten each time, making the escape from the woman difficult as the game progresses. For the game to end, get the woman in your line of sight, looking directly in her eyes and shout, Kitta, or I cut you loose. While yelling, move your arm in a chopping motion. If this is done properly, the game ends and the woman will leave without causing you any harm. But there's a catch. You must do this before midnight, and the longer you play, the stronger she will get. If you fail to do so, she will not stop and continue to pursue you in your dreams and waking life, leading to potentially a lifetime of hauntings. The birth of Daruma-san legend is not well studied, but the game seems to be part of modern Japanese urban legends. The name Daruma comes from the traditional Daruma doll, which is modeled after Bodhide Harma, the founder of Zen Buddhism. These dolls are often used in rituals and associated with good luck, adding a certain irony to the legend. There are various accounts from people who have tried the game. Individuals report haunting by a pale woman with tangled black hair, leading to intense fear and anxiety. The game is often frowned upon due to its negative psychological impact and the risk of maybe summoning malevolent entities. Whether you believe in the supernatural or not, this is one of those games that is best not to try alone. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to get more content like this.